500-year-old map explodes earth-shattering reality. The map in question, designed by Ottoman cartographer Piri Race in 1513 and discovered in 1929, has long been an anomaly. World-famous Ottoman cartographer Piri Race 500-year-old map, apart from accurately exploring the northern coast of Antarctica, provides mind-boggling information about 2,000 important ports and cities of the Mediterranean Sea, the western coasts of Europe and North Africa and the eastern coast of South America. Parapraya, Anda Tidak Buda Viagrajika Anda Melakukanini Senchiaphari. Testo Ultra. Sponsored by Rev Content. Find out more. 73702. The Piri race map was compiled in 1513 and when it was discovered in 1929 it caused an international sensation as it was the only 16th century map that showed South America in its proper longitudinal position in relation to Africa. The map shows the Earth as seen from space, the subglacial topography of Greenland and Antarctica, and is aligned with the Earth's energy grid enough hard to believe information to fascinate today's world. The astonishing details have puzzled the human minds and given rise to questions and controversies. The map depicts Queen Maud Land, a 2.7 million square kilometer region of Antarctica, as ice-free millions of years ago. Geological evidence proves that this region could not have been ice-free until 4000 BC. The true nature of Antarctica as a frigid region of ice and snow was convincingly proved for the first time by the second voyage of the English navigator Captain James Cook between 1772 and 1775. The map depicts mountain ranges in the Antarctica. These were not discovered until 1952. The geographical survey in Antarctica couldn't have been made without an aerial technology. Such expertise did not exist million of years ago. The last period of ice-free condition in Antarctica ended about 6,000 years ago. Now the puzzle is, who mapped the Queen Maud land of Antarctica 6,000 years ago? The Piri race map probably implies that, if not technology, Perhaps there existed an extremely intelligent ancient advanced civilization with all the tools of modern day civilization. The first civilization developed around 3000 BC followed by the Indus Valley and the Chinese civilizations. Now the second puzzle is, who carried out such extensive research and surveys 4000 BC that are only possible in the modern era with the ultra-modern technology. History professor Charles Hapgood believes, it appears that accurate information has been passed down from people to people. It appears that the charts must have originated with a people unknown and they were passed on, perhaps by the Minoans and the Phoenicians, who were, for a thousand years and more, the greatest sailors of the ancient world. We have evidence that they were collected and studied in the Great Library of Alexandria, Egypt, and that compilations of them were made by the geographers that worked there. The map neither came from any ancient civilization nor created by extraterrestrials, an astonishing piece of work, the Piri race map was indeed a first-class piece of naval intelligence.